Hello there. Now, it's been a while since I did my last city update, and lots has changed. For instance, I did end up breaking my mic, and I've actually waited all day for the new converter so that I'm able to use the clipper mic. This is normally the mic that I'm using when I'm doing a lot more close up videos or when I'm showing you something up close. So this will be the mic going forward. Hopefully it's not too much worse than the other one, but it's finally time to take a look at everything I've done from the city. Before we start, I'd just like to say thank you all for your support on the last one. This video quite literally wouldn't be possible without you because you all voted for the first level of my Lego theme tower. Now the four choices to choose from was Ninjago, Monkey Kid, Dreams, and a block fashioned after the Lego Movie. And by a landslide victory, the Lego Movie won. So I have built the ground floor based on Lego Movie. Now, the second highest voted was Ninjago, which last time I looked was nearing that 20% mark of votes. So that still did quite well. The other two, Dreams and Monkey Kid, were very, very close. So when I get round to building the Ninjago level, which I still have no idea what I'm going to do for that yet, I'll put out another vote for the next video to decide who between Monkey Kid's dreams. Perhaps I'll even whack in a few other LEGO themes. Let me know what other LEGO themes you'd like to see have a building in the LEGO City down in the comments. But without further ado, let's go and take a look at the changes to the LEGO City. So as you would have seen in the thumbnail, the Lego movie block, which you can just see over there to the back, isn't the only thing I worked on in the city, as I've also removed the Venom bike poly bag. If you haven't seen the Venom bike poly bag, I won't show off in great detail. I'll put a clip on your screen so that you can see the difference and transformed it into Ghost Rider's bike. If you've seen Ghost Rider or know of Ghost Rider from the comics, you'll know he's much more associated with a awesome looking motorcycle than Venom ever is. I mean, I can't even say I've seen Venom with a motorcycle, I guess. I'm sure Eddie Brock had one in the Venom movie at some point, and motorcycles are usually used in action chases. But I think Knight Rider deserved a bike way more. There's a few loose pieces I have used here, but hopefully it doesn't fall off too much this video, as it seems to stay in when I don't touch it. Maybe it's just the wheel spinning it off. But I've built this bike to replicate the bike from the movie. And in fact, Lego had a set release recently of a giant Ghost Rider mech with a bike. And honestly, this should have been the Venom poly bag. I don't know why they looked at bike and they've done Captain America. They've done Black Widow, who I guess, yeah, they've both ridden bikes in Marvel movies before. And I'm sure they have in the comics. But they're not as iconic as Ghost Rider and his bike. So I'm very happy with how this turned out. You can see I've got loads of details from the glowing eyes at the front to even the tire cap at the back. The bit that goes over the tire, of course, we had to keep the stud shooters and they are orange studs, which I guess I shouldn't have fired off that side with the flame, but they are orange studs that do bounce off your central perk modular and hit you in the chest. So be careful where you're aiming them. That is why Ghost Rider always looks this way in case one of them accidentally misfires. It's only firing. It's only firing onto the pavement when no one's there to be harmed, at least not anymore. Anyway, you're probably a little more interested in Emmett's dream house, which has been taken from this Lego set on the left. You can see the resemblance a little bit. It's definitely been modified to fit between the sitcom tower and the super food tower which is yet to be complete i'm still trying to work on the shawarma join and seeing just what i want to do in this area so there might be an update before the ninjago block but i'm still working on that something else to note before we take a close-up of emmett's dream house is there is an extra three studs to the side in fact both sides i've already mentioned it previously but you can see Lo-Fi Girl's apartment has been moved from behind sort of this fish tank area to out the front here above the tunnel. The tunnel does still fit all the minifigure vehicles that it needs to. You can see this, the biggest one I've got so far, and it is able to fit underneath that tunnel. There is a speed limit of 50, so you can't be going too fast or I guess too slow through the tunnel. But this is my new design and it's switching from six studs on this wall to three studs on both. I want to make sure this city feels like an actual city, get it looking a bit busier. And 
I can build up a bunch of towers here above the tunnel and even going to the other side you can see we have the animal tower, we have the lego tower. We then have the sitcom tower which the instructions for the first three floors are unrubricable and only use one of each of the lego friend sets. We then have Emmett's dream house we'll take a look at in a minute and the superhero food tower which includes a subway and the bar from Deadpool which is why we're staring at a red wall. And then I can build many, many more references or just places that I've been perhaps on the three studs down here. So if you'd like me to build a front of either some sort of store or some reference that you think would go great with my city, definitely let me know down in the comments below because I've got so much more space. I mean, I can definitely fit another eight here and even four hidden behind that house. So Perhaps we can switch them up over time. Let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see. And perhaps your comment will make it into this city. Anyway, let's take a closer look at Emmett's dream house. And in order to get Emmett's dream house actually out of the city, because I've made these all modular, it is so easy. Whilst I don't have enough towers on the top to block it in, I can just lift it up from where it is. You can see I have built it on a raised base plate just to make the bottom more solid, even when no houses are on there. And that makes it so much easy to pick up and just pull out this one section without having to disturb the rest of the city. So now let's take it to the desk and take a look at Emmett's dream house. And as you can see, the cool thing about the exterior is I've managed to have near enough enough colored bricks to go all the way around. It is 360 degrees. I guess you won't be able to see the third one till we're inside. So you'll have to take my word for now. But I've also had this one by two cheese slope built into the wall here to make it so much easier to pop off the top. Now I didn't stud it down because sometimes these one by ones you can see on the corner do get stuck in the top plate, but it will make it so much more easier. I've already done this on a few of my buildings and I'm just gonna keep it going for all the new ones that I create. Now, the first thing we've got to mention by looking at the interior is that double decker couch. Emmett's dream house, it had to have a double decker couch. I'm not quite sure if the official Lego set did come with a double decker couch, but they did then go on to sell a triple decker couch. So they are somewhat forgiven. You can see Emmett's there with not only Wild Style or Lucy, but also has the star from the second movie, I believe that is which is an absolutely adorable character to have included in this set. And I've just included a one by one bracket on the back of that star to enable it to stand on that pole. And we also have Unikitty, who I had to include. I dug out just for this level and we've got a nice sunny yellow mat as well to go with the green floors, which I guess I just had enough green plates. So it's quite typical of a Lego set to come with a green base plate. Obviously representing glass, we then have a nice little simple desk. I kept things simple for Emmett. Emmett is a simple Lego minifigure. So I've included a grey chair, a grey desk, and also a nice white mug. And we do have a bed just in this corner here. But I mean, everything was just built around that double decker couch. I wondered what I'd put because I didn't want to include basically the interior of the set. But I'm very happy with that double decker couch and also just the front of it. It's going to look so different to all the other buildings. We've got a bunch of these realistic, like the double doors, the big window. And you can slightly see all the DC characters there on the he she table. But I carried across the plants from the original model. I did alter the two arches around the door and the window. Also changed up how the fence was, but still kept most of the ideas here. In fact... You can open the door fully just to get inside and you can see Unikit is right by that door. It's even got the grey mat, which is also represented by a 2x4 dark bluish grey piece in the set. So a lot of inspiration from the set. Of course, I couldn't slope out the roof, but I'm excited to get working on the next project. And once again, if you have any ideas how to improve this, let me know down in the comments alongside what you want to see in the Lego City. There honestly is so much space. Of course, we've got the two towers there. The sitcom tower is the only tower that's really complete because the Lego museum up on this floor with Hedwig is completely empty. You can actually see inside of it. 
if you ignore the reflection of the light and there is absolutely nothing in there i might change this up still i said about building a flat apartment with an allotment to the side i'm still sticking with that but once again that will be its own update if i try to break up these so rather than building three buildings in one update hopefully that means i can get these out a bit more often and I would really like to build a vehicle for each update. So you can see here's the Jurassic Park Jeep and today I unveiled Ghost Rider's bike. Perhaps there'll be another reference vehicle coming in an update soon. Also, we are months into this Lego city and it's coming along really, really nicely if I say so myself, but we still don't have a name for it. So at the minute I keep referring it to my Lego city and I'd love for you all at home to come up with a name for the Lego City. Now, I'm not quite sure if I'll take one idea from the comments or if I'll probably end up merging a few, but hopefully I'll be able to decide by the next update or so what we will be calling this city. So I'm calling on your great ideas in the comments. Do let me know what you think we could name this city and hopefully there's some great ideas to pick for next time. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, do be sure to like if you enjoy this type of content and subscribe for more awesome LEGO content coming your way. And may the bricks be with you always.